there in the dark realms of your pantry, there's an ingredient you don't quite know what to do with, but you're happy you have it when you need it. It's cornstarch. I know, I know, cornstarch gets a bad rap and gets lots of bad press. It's a really great ingredient to have in your house, at your disposal, anytime you need it. I keep cornstarch around the house for a multitude of reasons. But it's summertime and it's itchy and it's nasty. And sometimes you get a bug bite you just can't get rid of. Pat a little cornstarch right on that bite and it goes away immediately. There was a secret I learned in my early cooking days that was the magic elixir to all things sauces to make them beautiful, satiny, and make sure they never clumped on you. Cornstarch. Maybe you've heard of it, it's called slurry. If you're at home and you're trying to figure out how to make that gravy thick or that soup silky smooth and beautiful, but you don't quite know how to do it, don't wanna mess with the roux and have no time to deal with it, cornstarch. Cornstarch and water makes an incredible combination that comes together to thicken food without imparting any flavor and makes it super easy to use. So you just wanna take a little bit of cornstarch and you're gonna add water in there. Now when you do this, you wanna do equal parts, depending on what kind of consistency you want. You're just gonna add your water in there. Oh. We're just gonna add our water in there while constantly stirring. This is also a super fun trick for the kids. If you wanna make that goopy, slimy, nasty stuff that's not too gross to clean up, this is a great fun activity for the kids. You're gonna mix it up and you're gonna make sure that the cornstarch incorporates into the water until you've created a beautiful, liquidy gold, silky smooth slurry that can go right into any of your sauces, your stocks, your soups, and it'll give you a fabulous product, a great quality, and something that everyone's sure to eat. Now one culinary tip on this, make sure when you're using a slurry that you cook it all the way through. You wanna make sure you don't have any of that raw cornstarch in that flavor. Make sure you send me pictures of all the food you're cooking in your kitchen right now. I can't wait to see them and I would love to share them. If you love what you learned here, make sure you push that like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon.